Hey guys, my name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm doing a fun video with my madre. <laughs> today we're gonna do a fun, like, it's gonna be kind of Christmassy, but also, like, yeah. not really Christmassy, but it's fine. But <laughs> favorite time in the kitchen with my girl. Yeah, so <laughs> we're gonna be baking some snickerdoodle cookies. Her favorite. Because snickerdoodles are the mm -hmm. best. The bomb. And, um, and then we're gonna be talking about the recent romance books that we've been reading because. <sighs> My mom's been oh, reading some romance more. Finally. I know, I've been pushing oh. all of them on her. <laughs> oh, Colleen Hoover, mm -hmm. Taylor Jenkins Reid. Yep. And there's a many, lot of good many stuff. More in too. It. Mm -hmm. 2020, watch out. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Phoenix is trying to be. <laughs> ah! Okay. All right. Okay. So, so yeah. So, so we're gonna start by getting the stuff and going through step by step. Step by step. How to, how to make, how to make snickerdoodle. All right. So step one is to find a snickerdoodle recipe that has ingredients that you actually have. Step two is to turn on the oven to 350 degrees. It's still going. Step three, get all of the things out. <laughs> okay, so we need flour. 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 Let's get flour. flour. Wrong cabinet. Shit. <laughs> you lived here for how long? I don't know. And you already forgot. That's so long. That's okay, flour. babe. Flour. Put it, put it here. Flour. flour. Baking powder, salt, cinnamon. Baking powder, salt, cinnamon. Vanilla. Salt, cinnamon. Got it. Okay. We got all of it. Is that all? Um, and then we need butter, sugar, and brown sugar, two large eggs, and vanilla extract, and that is all. Oh my gosh. Okay. Eggs, fridge. Um, I'll get the eggs. eggs. <laughs> large eggs. <laughs> Look at it. They're very large. Yep. It, the box says large. They're not that large, so they're no, like, this is normal size. This is small chickens. Dope. We need a bowl. Oh yeah, we need a bowl. We need a bowl. And a oh, we need two bowls. There's two bowls. A big bowl and then a little bowl that we put in the sugar, remember? In the oh yeah. So measure all cups. of the things. Yes, we also. Got measure cups. I went to New Orleans and oh, got yeah. this most beautiful. <laughs> this. It's so pretty. This is Way bigger than one yeah, cup. Yeah, we, 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 we found that out pretty. It's, it's too big. But we do have spoons too. They're yes. so pretty, they're my favorite. Those are beautiful. Okay, so we probably won't be using those. Though. Probably won't use these because they're freaking huge. They're huge, they're a little bit they're more way too than they big. should be. See, this is a normal cup. Look at, yeah, <laughs> I know. That could fit inside the other cup. And yeah, more. like what even the heck? Okay. I don't know. That's so we these. Style. And we got we all of the these. stuff. We got sugar, brown sugar, Salt, the stuff, <laughs> butter, cinnamon, and we're good to go. So let's let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, so in a bowl, mix together the dry ingredients: flour, baking powder, salt. Okay, so in this bowl, flour will be first. Okay, so we're doing dry ingredients first. That's what we'll do. Oh. Do we? Uh... <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Go for it, girl. So two and three fourths. Whoa. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah. Do Whoa. we wanna? <laughs> That's fine, dude. <laughs> Reminds me of when you used to live at home. Oh. My baby. Should I just wing the three fourths? Wing it, baby. Wing it. Yeah, that That's looks good. That's about three fourths, right? Yeah. That's yeah. Good. We're good. Mm -hmm. okay. It's all. I mean, we're gonna be the ones eating these, so like. <laughs> you know what? And the fact is, they don't rise, rise. So that's a good thing. You don't all have to right. worry about that part. And then we do salt. So it's gonna be half of a teaspoon. Salt. Yes. Yeah. Don't line the bowl just in case. You don't want it too salty. <laughs> Trust me, I learned the hard salty. way. Salty. Yeah. Oh, salty. I poured like a whole salty. thing in there before. <laughs> I, whoops! I have to toss that oh, one. Oh god. Lesson okay. learned. Okay, baking powder. Two teaspoon. Two teaspoons. Oh, Ooh, oven's ready. ready. <laughs> All right, and then we'll do one teaspoon of cinnamon. Yeah. So get one. You ever do that yeah. thing where you where you put Cinnamon a bunch gel. in your yeah? <laughs> Just inhale. They oh. didn't they didn't have that when I was a youngins, but it looks like a lot of fun, and I'll never do it. Come on, so we don't have a mixer, do we? <laughs> we certainly do. Oh, we do. Mom and Dad got it at our wedding, and it's like 34 years old. Oh, but shit. they don't make them like this no. Whoops, they don't make them like this no more. Oh, old shit. fashioned. Mixer. 
You know how to use. Cream together the butter, granulated sugar, and brown sugar. Next, add vanilla and eggs one at a time. <sighs> Makes sense. You want so, so much work. God. This one's not going to be good because it'll splat everywhere. So we got to get one of the deep ones. Yeah, and what's nice about that. these deep ones is that they have the. It's um. I forget his name. Wolfgang. Texture. Wolfgang Pup. Good Amazing. answer. Whoa. He makes them so they don't spin around. So Genius. I'd rather go big than go home. Genius. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Stick. And it won't. It won't slide around, which is a good thing when you're. Okay, should I should I try my show my magic? Yes. I, I learned how to do this after. Oh wait, wait, we don't oh. eggs first. Wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> butter, sugar, and brown sugar first. <sighs> okay. Cream together butter. So like well, it has to be are like hard as a rock. So yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, so we probably just want to like microwave them a little bit, you know, and make, make them like up. make them, them like mixable. Yeah. Butter is going in yeah. microwave. I'm gonna just quick defrost. Let's see what goes on there. It's three minutes, but three we minutes. Can, we can watch it go. Watch it. It's kind of the fun part. If you look and go, okay. It's gonna melt it's gonna so start. fast. It's gonna start. Right. Soft enough. Perfect. Okay. okay. Woo! Mm, that's lickable. Mm -hmm. And just pack that puppy in there. Ah. And if anything <laughs> falls loose, hey, it's extra. Okay, and you just like mush it down and pack it in. Some fell in. Good to go. That's the fun part about baking this. <laughs> one cup and a fourth of regular sugar. Okay. This one. Ooh. Ooh. And then we'll use that fourth we used from before. Yeah, science. Yeah, science. Yeah, science. My mom okay. just quoted Breaking Bad. She's so uh, cool. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> I got the whole collection. I know. Dad she's mom. so cool. Dad mom. Whoa. Whoa. All okay. right. How do we use this mixer? <laughs> Okay, you need babe. to be educated. Let me show you. Okay, you do that, and it's gonna get all cray cray. So, oh god, you gotta make a mask. It's on. like watch the lint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo! That's why you go deep because it starts flipping around. Oh my god, cute! Kind of reminds me of uh, making like Play Doh, <laughs> Play Doh and stuff. Like Play Doh? Like, yeah, Play Doh too. Oh, don't you remember when you were a kid? I we used to do that. Yes. We used to add fragrance to it. Mom had lavender. Oh. I threw lavender, and so we did that. And, oh, it was fun. Okay, so. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Spanish. <laughs> okay, so one. Whoa. And then you can do your magic there. Whoa. <laughs> I used to read the books to the girls, and one of them was Amelia Bedelia. Oh, and yes. and so she was a maid, if you don't know, and she worked for this lady, and she said, um, separate the eggs, you know. Uh -huh. So she moved them like over here and over there. She oh did my God, not I remember know, that, right? She didn't know. I, I saved totally the book for when that. you guys have little ones. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because I want to be a grandma reading that stuff. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. And then she said. Um, Jelly roll, make the jelly roll. So she was really trying to make the jelly roll. But <laughs> I so definitely you, you remember those. get to those. learn how, it, yeah, good memory. Oh my god. Because it's nice to get it off. Just a little trick. Bring it up. Another reason you have a deep bowl, and it'll do all the work for you. And there's very little nice. left on there. But you can still, you know, I mean, whoops. <laughs> One wants to get away. Anyway, you got what I'm talking about, so. Cute. Yeah, and then you pop them out. And Dang. this was where you used to always lick. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. you girls always love to lick the bowl, especially, <laughs> you, especially you. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> True all to this, this stuff, day. So. Another trick, don't put all your stuff away. <laughs> Wait until you're done. Right. Because this kind of stuff happens. But guess what? It's all good. Wait, am I pouring this into there? Yeah, a little oh. at a time. Because it's easier than putting this big blob in there. So they add it that way. Right. So just add a little at a time so they don't fly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know how 
how they do those videos. They yeah. have to have cameras like all over the place to make it look so like food porn, you know? Right. Where it's like, oh man, you can taste it as you're watching it. This mixer's doing the most. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's amazing. You don't want to waste any of this. <laughs> and Fiend, if you're a good girl, maybe you can have a little bit. Whoa. I think you might like them. <laughs> Better. What? <laughs> Beanings. Okay. What? Well. Oh. Damn. Hi. Damn. Hi. Hello. This is the sugar and cinnamon mix. It looks like there is a lot more cinnamon than yeah, there should be, cool. but it's fine. Well, we can add. Let's just put a little more sugar in there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. This is not rocket science. You do what you want. Right. With the baking part. Okay. Especially if it's not rising. If it's a riser, that's one thing. It says use parchment paper on a non-stick baking oh. mat. Parchment paper. Do you have that? Check. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. My mom has everything. You know. It's not my first rodeo, babe. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's a good size, like, around Oh, that. that's good. Mm, yeah. They're, but they're gonna They're going to expand a little. A little smaller. Yeah, and then, you know what's nice? Smaller means you have more. Yes. More is always good. <gasps> then you Adorable. twist them around. Woohoo. Cute. Yeah. And put them on there. Oh, you made so small. Yeah. I mean, it's nice because if you're going to put them in a, like a little gift box, then Ooh. it's nice. Then you can have, you know, other cookies can fit in there because right. they're not going to be that thick or they're going to melt down. So that's the thing you have to consider. Sometimes you, you're, and plus when you're so excited, you want to make them big but then you realize after phoenix no and another thing that's that's um if you're making a brand new kind of cookie and you don't know <laughs> make one and put it bake it in the oven mm -hmm. make one put it in the oven let it bake out and what's nice with that is that if you messed up you only messed up with one you still have a chance to change it up yeah okay, so I do how this. about those romance books oh those romance <laughs> books oh my uh, gosh what are, you, what are you reading right now um, oh, what's the name of that one? It's the new, <laughs> sorry, I didn't do my homework. <laughs> Colleen Hoover's new one. Oh, it's so good. She's what's reading it Regretting it? You. Oh, I am reading Regretting You. In yes. between, you know, wrapping presents from mm. Santa's little elves and right. baking and decorating. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm looking forward to it. I think I'm three chapters in. What are your thoughts so far? I'm telling you, it's, uh, it's really, uh, I love her writing. Her style of writing is amazing. Um, as a, you know, novice reader, you know. Right. <laughs> no, but I mean, um, styles of writing are so important. Finding an author that you really like, and once you did, and I said, you know, follow their, their books, you know, their whole chapters there, because once you start reading it, that's what got you into it, yeah. you know, when you're younger stuff, and it's a. Uh, couldn't get you to read for my life. But oh my gosh. we had an accelerated reading program, which was wonderful. And you would go after reading the book, then you would go and do the thing on the computer. Mm -hmm. And you would uh, have a comprehension of what you read. And it was really nice because then they would um, make a print out copy of it. And then mom and dad, we had to sign it, which we knew um, it was great to know where you were in your reading skills. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll think forever I'll thank them because that was a, a really neat program that not all schools were fortunate to have. Okay, one tray down. Ron Roy, <laughs> A to Z Mysteries. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, and you even wrote to, to him and you said, because um, he said in the back of the books, he said, if you um, have ideas, I would love to hear it. So that was such a sweet thing that he did to the kids. And you wrote, you wrote a lot of A to Z mystery. Um, I don't know, can you Ideas. remember any of those? <laughs> no. She made a lot of them. I was so proud of her. Oh and uh, <laughs> he wrote her back. Mm. And she still has, I found it when we were moving. And yeah. um, I save everything. <laughs> I am that kind of mom. But anyway, mm. I, I found it and I gave it to you when we moved. But it was the most amazing thing. And I said, hey, you are... On, on a beautiful journey here and really proud of you and not just anybody gets a letter from Ron Roy you know <laughs> so that kind of is a, a good way to know where you're at so yeah I love the authors that you choose um, to, for me to read the books because otherwise I wouldn't know and I know a lot of my friends and your teachers 
you know, you went to school with and that taught you, they look to you too for books. And it's so neat to see that all of that's passed down. Yeah. Yeah. And look at you where you're at now. So. <laughs> this is what's nice about baking and being in the kitchen <laughs> and cooking in the kitchen because it's quality time spent well, which I've had more of since they've moved out of the house. I hear this kind of stuff all the time. <laughs> and yes, it's, it's like this is Christmas right now. Under Aww. the tree is not what's the most important part. It's like right here, right now. All right. She did it. Let's put them <laughs> in. <laughs> Woo. My favorite time. Okay, so how long do we got, babe? We gotta set the timer. Oh, no. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm gonna get sugar rush. Does it have raw eggs in it? Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> Clean. <laughs> Mama dropping. It was good. Anyway, it's probably a good idea to kind of try it before you bake it. Well, this is Gabby's favorite is cookie dough. Mm hmm. Oh, um, what about this book? So oh my gosh. This, on this one. No oh spoilers, but like general thoughts the most amazing twist and i must say it keeps you appreciating yeah what you have the holidays is a good time to really maybe read that because it tells you mm -hmm. ways to um i'm sorry i'm still looking the book. <laughs> um, i really enjoyed it and i always <clears throat> there's this um you probably all know this i'm running late <laughs> in life but what's the name of that that one app that I Marco Polo to her. Oh, I Marco yeah. <laughs> Polo her when I finish a book, even while I'm crying. Mm -hmm. It's great. Ugly stuff. tears and stuff, and it's um a good way. In fact, you could probably I'll have to look back and see how many I've done. <laughs> yeah, Such good writers, ladies. I'm just well, saying. Well, if you didn't even know what this is about, it's literally about this girl who's married to this guy, and then the guy dies. And then <sighs> she moves on for four years. Like, she's really struggling to move on. And then she gets engaged to this new guy, Sam. That's, like, this guy that she knew from her past and her childhood and stuff. Yeah. And then she gets a phone call saying that her husband isn't actually dun, dead. Dun, dun. That he was stranded after this helicopter accident. And oh he's been God. stranded for four years. That's and now he's returning home. Yeah. And you're like, what's a girl to do? Because now she has a new fiancé who she loves. And she's, like, moved on. And she literally thought he died. And now and he's was, coming back. It was so hard. And to it's read. one true loves. And the details she goes into, all the things and how Sam deals with it and how sweet he is about it. I yeah. um, I adored him. Mm -hmm. Right. It was so yeah. good. And mm -hmm. I feel like the way this book talks about grief too and how it really changes you and how like after losing someone that you're that close to, that's like a, such a big part of your world. Like you probably change a lot as a person and you're not really like who you used to be. So like if that person comes back into your life, like you're not really going to be that same person that you used to be. <clears throat> no. And it's like, ugh. you grow and you learn as you go. And even for a young cookie like me, <laughs> it was so insightful to see things you, like I said, things you take for granted. Mm -hmm. And um, looking at this, oh, like all books for Gabby and myself, open our worlds and our eyes in situations that you never would think you'd, you know, have to deal with. But it kind of tells you and shows you the depths of what it is to um, go through something horrible like that. No spoilers, it ended up being a good book. At the end, it all it was, you know, cliche, happily ever after, but it's not how you think it's gonna be. You and know? you don't know with which one? Nope. Oh yeah, we won't share that. You know, on a much um, brighter note, I recently just reread The Unhoneymooners. Oh, that was good too. I, I know, that which one. my mom also read oh this my God. one. <laughs> I'm a bigger reader than I thought. I know, and this is Aww. like one of my favorites of the year. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my mm -hmm. God, this one's so good. Yeah. Like, I freaking love the way that they like pick on each other in this yeah. book. Like, yeah, they're yeah. so cute. I and think like, that's wonderful. <laughs> Ethan and Olive are just like my favorite, like, like they're just one of my favorite couples I've ever yeah. read. Like I just they're love them cute. so much, right? They're cute. They grew together, you know, in this in this neat way. And their whole like wedding party getting food poisoning right in the beginning is <laughs> like perfect. Oh my god. I mean that was so, That's so meant awful. to be. That's what set the whole thing in motion and um, yeah. you never know those things that happen in life. I'm being so like oh nostalgic, <laughs> but I'm the mom, so you know, I earned it. But I'm saying that it's, these are things that that changed your life when something happens. But one thing I love is um, <laughs> when we share books and stuff, Yeah. we highlight and underline on a happy face oh, yeah. or sad face 
or whatever oh. with each other and um, <laughs> it's uh, something I really enjoy that um, we do together and oh it's so good yeah that's a beautiful cover too by the way I know I love Isn't this it? cover and it's so just yellow so embossed and so oh. summery and Makes me so happy. It's a very happy this. feeling book. I love it too because I love the like sister relationship between Olive and Amy. You oh, know, like I, know. I just love how they're like really looking out for each other in the whole book and stuff. Like I love reading about like sister relationships, and that's why I love regretting you too because I oh. love the like mother daughter relationship Another one. in that book. Mm -hmm. That one you're reading. Right now? Mm -hmm. I can't yeah. wait. Mm -hmm. The mother daughter relationship in that one is so good. Like I also realized like when I reread it this time is that like Olive is such a like pessimistic character which i feel like is something that i relate to so much because she, i always feel like in romance novels whenever it's like because i really like that trope of when they bring together like a pessimistic person with right. an optimistic person Absolutely. but i always feel like in romance novels it's like the guy that's like the pessimist always and then the girl that has to come in and be the optimist and like change his <laughs> uh, life and like whatever but i love how in this book it's almost like the reverse like i feel like olive is very like pessimistic like she feels like she's very unlucky in her life and her sister has all the good luck and stuff and then i love how she's more of like the negative like pessimist attitude yeah. and then he's kind of more like optimistic and like but i just I love that it's like finally a book where the girl is the more like <laughs> pessimistic you know realist personality type and it's like it's just so relatable like and she's so funny yeah and it's just so like the best it's really really <laughs> cute i mean gabby picks out the most amazing book and <laughs> it's, it's just neat because, Lauren, it's just yeah and it's <laughs> neat too though that they send little love notes whoever gives it to her you well, know that's kristen dwyer she's yeah. the best yeah she so, hooks I mean, me up with all the christina uh, ones. oh brilliant okay we gotta check those cookies so we got this little <laughs> little you can little, use toothpicks uh, but this has been passed down will still continue to be passed down so you, oh, they're, poke they're good oh i think they're they're good well let's oh no let's go in because you there. said it can be 20 minutes and we it just could be up nine. to 20 minutes and we yeah just did nine. all right yeah we should probably so leave it in there a little time. bit all right i think <laughs> they are dude take five whoa oh, they smell so good they're freaking oh huge my now gosh. Oh, they look done, don't they, babe? Yeah, I oh. think they're done. Beautiful. <clears throat> this was a lot of work. <laughs> but trust me, they are so good, Gabby. I'm so oh, happy. I can't wait to taste them. <laughs> yes. Oh, you got awesome. a little. Um, you got a little. <laughs> <laughs> just a little. Uh, um, just a little. A little uh, bit. And just, just a little, little bit. Um, <laughs> Hey, yeah. It's cooking in the kitchen. Yeah. What can I it say? Gets a little it's messy. Just, you never know. Just be ready for anything. Just that be can ready happen. for anything. <laughs> Don't judge my stove. Look at they're so beautiful. Oh, wow. Wish you could have smell you could of this. Feel the steam mm -hmm. rising off of those. It's a good weight for just like a little bit, but then Yum. it's go to town. Think about maybe doing this every year. <laughs> Making this tradition. I would say yes. Yeah. Big yes. I think so. I yeah. really enjoyed this time with you. Right? <laughs> yeah. Always with my baby girls. Yeah. And I love you, <laughs> I love you too. Aww. I also got us um these pumpkin spice Cinderella lattes. Spoiled because my mom wanted to try it because it's a Cinderella thing. So thanks, Jacqueline. Uh, thank you. For you know, um hooking us up with these oh, drinks absolutely. that I'm obsessed with now. <laughs> so good. Now I know what you've been talking about. Yeah, if you don't know what it is, it's a pumpkin spice latte with two pumps of the white mocha syrup. Oh, so good. Anyways, cheers. We got a taste test. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see how uh. these turned out. <laughs> They're perfect. Right? Soft. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, you guys. They're like muffin tops. They're so cute. This shit is good. Cookies are best when they're fresh out of the oven. Mm -hmm. I mean, and fresh made. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, there's nothing more like it. And what I love is that we did this together. Yeah. I love you, honey. Mm -hmm. I love these moments. And um, let us know what your thoughts are, mm -hmm. if I must say. If this is something you'd like to see maybe next year. Yeah. Or whatever. Or if you'd like to see my mom in more videos <laughs> and you have like any ideas of stuff we can do. They are not. Then, no, um, they're here to see you, Please babe. let me know. No, yeah. no, mom, yeah. they love you. Yeah. You should see yeah. the comments on my vlog videos. They're like, oh, really? I like your mom. Oh, my goodness. They're like, I'm only here for your mom in Phoenix. <laughs> That's what they tell me. <laughs> anyway, I thank you. Um, but mm -hmm. this is like quality spent. And um, I don't need nothing under the tree, babe. Mm -hmm. I got it all. Well, you'll I'm still thankful. get stuff under the tree. <laughs> thank you and happy holidays, everybody. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Absolutely. Happy everything. And um, yeah, <laughs> I will see you soon. You bet. With a new video. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. All right, so what do we
so cute. we gotta film the, we gotta do the thumbnail the thumbnail? thumbnail it's like the little picture that they see uh -huh. on youtube oh like that's the cover yeah it's like yeah. the little photo so it's gotta be cute yeah. so let's talking see. about books and cooking you know mm -hmm. so why don't you hold this one Oh, it was a good book. So we'll just like um, my five books I read this year. <laughs> okay, well, you gotta show your face. Oh, so like, yeah, so we'll just do like. <laughs> okay, that's cute. And let's okay. do another one in case that one sucks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 